Um, before I start, I want to give all honors and glories and praises to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Wakakodash, Yahweh, which is the one true name of the Heavenly Father, Yahweh Shai, who the world ignorantly calls Jesus Christ, but his one true name is Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the elders and the apostles of Great Millstone, who will well and teach well. Because those are the men who I've learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahashim Yahushai. Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And Shalom to you sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Irazaka from the servants of Yahweh Wa Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And pretty much I was going to tell people to go down and watch my previous videos to the first part of Daniel 7 but through the spirit I decided to break down from verse 1 all the way to verse 8 because I just broke down you know I used my notes a little bit and uh, I broke down verse 9 through 28 so now I'm gonna do the first part because I got so many videos uploaded on my channel it might be hard for individuals to find the first part so to make it easier for people I decided to do the first part so we're going to do the first part again, and Lord willing, this lesson is edifying, and this lesson is going to be titled as Daniel 7, break down from verse 1 all the way to verse 8. So Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. This is Daniel 7 and 1. It says, in the first year of Balsazar, the king of Babylon, King Balsazar was the last king to rule in Babylon. He was taken down by Darius the Mede when you read Daniel the fifth chapter. All right, he was taken down by Darius the Mede. He was killed by Darius the Mede. And I'm going to get that out. Daniel 5. And we'll start at verse. Actually, I'll start up. Because I always start at verse 28. But we'll start. Uh, up, actually. And go down to 31. We'll start at verse 24. This is Daniel 5 and 24. It says, Then was the part of the hand sent, for, sent from him in and this writing was written, and this is the writing that was written. Mene, mene, tekel, usfarsen, salakia. This is the interpretation, this is the interpretation of the thing, mene. It says, Yahweh have numbered thy kingdom and finished it. Tekel, it says, thou art weighed in the balance and art found wanting. Verse 28, it says, Peret, per, it says, Paris, Thy kingdom is divided and given to the Medes and the Persians. See, so this is the Babylonian Empire and they were taken down by the Medio Persian Empire. You had the Medes that came first and then the Persians. That's why it says Medes and Persians, because you had the Persians, you had the Medes that came first. Then you had the Persians that came after and the Persians, they were mightier. Right. That's why it says uh, it says one was uh, uh, high on one side. Lifted up on one side. That's talking about the Persians there. The Persians was greater. You had the Medes and then you had the Persians. And the Persians were mightier. They were greater. Verse 29 it says. Then commanded Balsazar. And they clothed Daniel with scarlet. And put a gold. And put a chain of gold about his neck. And made a proclamation. Concerning him. That he should be the third ruler in the kingdom. Verse 30. In that night was Balsazar the king of the Chaldeans slain. See, King Balsazar was the last king to rule in Babylon. He was killed by Darius the Mede. And Darius the Median took the kingdom being about three score and two years old. See, so Darius the Mede, he took down King Balsazar. He killed him. So King Balsazar, so like it, King Balsazar was the last king to rule in Babylon. So let's read it again. Daniel 7 and 1. It says, in the first year of Balsazar, king of Babylon, Daniel had a dream and visions of his head about his bed, right? It says, then he wrote the dream and told the sum of the matter, right? So pretty much he was recounting on what he saw in his dream, in his vision. And then he told the sum of the matter, meaning, you know, what, like what brothers do in the truth. When they have dreams, you know, they may have dreams of Jacob trouble. They may have dreams of the chariots. They may have dreams, you know, of the elect receiving the crowns, etc. That's pretty much what Daniel was doing in this verse. 
Verse 2, it says, Daniel spake and said, I saw in my vision by night, and behold, four winds of heaven strove upon the great sea. And the great sea, that's talking about the Mediterranean Sea. Verse 3, it says, And four great beasts came up from the sea, diverse one from another. And the four beasts, that's a representation of the four major empires. So when you read, And four great beasts came up from the sea, that's the representation of the four major empires. The Medio Persian, no, the Babylonian Empire, Salakia, the Medio Persian Empire, the Greek Empire, and the Roman Empire. Those are the four major empires. We're going to prove that. Let's go down to verse 17. Right? And it says, These great beasts, which are four, are four kings which shall arise out of the earth. See? So the four great beasts, as you see right here, is talking about the four major empires. The Babylonian Empire, the Medio Persian Empire, the Greek Empire, and the Roman Empire. That's what that's talking about. Verse 4, it says the first was like a lion. This is the first beast. It says the first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. This is talking about the Assyrian Empire. Let's prove it. I want to give an example. So we're going to go to Google. For edification purposes, you know, it's good to edify. Go to Google and look up Assyrian art. Uh, make sure I'm spelling it right. Salakia. Let me see. See that? This is the, this is what it's talking about. The Assyrian Empire. Right? So let's read that again. And it said, The first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. This is talking about the Assyrian Empire. The Neo-Assyrian Empire. See that? See, like a lion, it had eagle's wings. So it's talking about the Assyrian Empire. All right. And the Assyrians, they came in around the year 720 BCE. Right. It says the first was like a lion and had eagle's wings. This is talking about the Assyrian Empire. It says, and I beheld till the wings thereof were plucked and the wings thereof was plucked. This is talking about the uh, uh, overthrowing of the Babylonian Empire, that the Babylonian Empire took down the Assyrian Empire. All right. So the wings that were plucked, that was the rising of the Babylonian Empire. And it says, and it was lifted up from the earth and it was lifted from the earth because this was the taking over the rising of the Babylonian Empire. The Babylonian Empire, they took over the Assyrian Empire. So you had the Assyrian Empire, the Babylonian Empire, the Babylonian Empire took over the Assyrian Empire. That's one empire. And it says, and it was lifted up from the earth and made stand upon the feet as a man and it made feet upon uh, it says and it says it made stand up stand upon the feet as a man that's talking about nebuchadnezzar all right he was he was great in his might it says and a man's heart was given unto it right because he was great nobody was you know didn't stand a chance against nebuchadnezzar he was mighty in that time right that's talking about Nebuchadnezzar. Verse 5, it says, And behold, right? It says, And behold, another beast, a second. And this is talking about the Medio Persian Empire, right? It says, Like a bear, and it, it says, And it rised up itself on one side, right? Because when you go to Daniel, the 8th chapter, it talks about the ram with the two horns. And it says, One was higher than the other. That's talking about the Medes which the Medes came first and the Persians came. They were they were mightier, right? And it says, and it had three ribs and the mouth of it between the feet of it. And the three ribs and the mouth of it, that's talking about the locations and the areas that they conquered. They came from the east. They went westward. Uh, they went westward, southward. They went westward, southward. I think it was uh, north. They went northward, southward, and westward. All right. And actually, I'll get that. So we were reading Daniel 7 and because um, I want to make sure I'm saying it the right way. It says, and it had three ribs in the mouth of it between the teeth of it. And that goes into the areas that they that they've uh, conquered. Here it is right here. Daniel 8 and 3. This is going into the Medio Persian Empire. It says, then I lifted up mine eyes and saw and behold, there stood before there stood before the river a ram. See? Which had two horns. See, so it was a ram with two horns. 
and the horns were high. See, the horns was high, but one was higher than the other. The one that was higher was the Persians. So you had they were bo the horns was high, but one was higher than the other. And the one that was the, the, the highest horn that is talking about, the one that was higher, was referring to the, the Persians. The Medes, you had the Medes and then you had the Persians, right? It says, but one was higher than the other and the higher came up last. See, the higher that came up last, that's the Persians. So you had the Medes came first and then the Persians, right? And I believe they came in the year 586 BCE. If I'm not, if I'm mistaken, elders, brothers, correct me, but I believe it's 586 BCE, right? And it says, um, I could be wrong, but brothers, correct me. But um, continuing, it says, uh, verse 4, I saw the ram pushing westward. See, that's going to the locations that they went to. So they came from east, and they and it says the three ribs and the mouth of it. Remember, it says, I saw the ram pushing westward and northward and southward. Those are the locations that they conquered, the three ribs and the mount of it, the areas that they went and the areas that they conquered. That's what that's talking about. It says, so that no beast might stand before him, neither was there any that could deliver out of his hand but he did according to his will and became great because they were mightier the medial persian empire they were mighty and we're going to prove that that ram with two horns is talking about the the medial persian empire it says daniel 8 and 20 the ram which thou sawest had two horns are the two kings of media and persia see so you had the medes that came first and then you had the persians so there you go that proves what I'm saying. So now, let's go back and read it. We'll go back to the main point. Let's go back and read it now. Daniel 7 and 5. And behold, another beast, a second, like to a bear, and it, and it raised up itself on one side. Remember, we read about the ram. It had two high horns, but one was higher than the other. You had the Medes, and then you had the Persians. They were mightier, right? And it says, and it had three ribs and a mouth of it between the teeth of it right we just talked about it they went westward northward and southward those are the three locations that they went and they conquered those areas it says and they said thus unto it arise and devour much flesh they were mighty they were great right verse six it says now this is going into the third beast it says and this i beheld and lo it says another like a leopard and a leopard is referring to alexander the greek Right. And also the Greek Empire. That's what that's talking about, which had upon the back of it four wings of the fowl. Right. It says the beast had also four heads and dominion was given to him. And the four beasts, which is also the four wings of the fowl. That's talking about the four generals of Alexander the Greek. Now you had. He had many generals, but in this precept, it just talks about the main four, which is Ptolemy, Cassander, Seleucus, and Lysimachus. Now, Antigonus is also one of them, but it's talking about the main four, which is Ptolemy, Cassander, Seleucus, and Lysimachus. All right. Verse seven, it says, actually, I got a precept for that, too. Let's go to um, prove that it's talking about. The Greek Empire, because we're going to go into Alexander the Great, because it said right here, Daniel 7 and 6. And after this, I beheld and lo, another like a leopard. That's talking about Alexander the Great, Alexander the Greek and the Greek Empire. It says, which had upon the back of it four wings of fowl and the beast had also four heads. And this is talking about the four major generals. Uh, it talks about Ptolemy, Cass Cass Cassander, Seleucus and Lysimachus. Right. And it says in dominion was given to it. Dominion was given unto it. So let's go and let's get this understanding now. Because you had a thing where Alexander the Greek, Alexander the Greek, he winded up dying. And then his generals, they winded up taking, conquering over uh, different parts of those areas and they began to rule. But then you had the Diadochi Wars where they started taking over, trying to take over each other's land. When you go into the Diadochi Wars, conquering certain areas, they started going up against each other. And this is 1 Maccabees 1 and 1. It says, and it happened after that, Alexander, son of Philip, the Macedonian, who came out of the land of Chittim, 
had smitten Darius, king of Persians and Medes. See, so you had the Greek Empire. They took over the uh, Medio Persian Empire, right? The Medio Persian Empire fell to the Greek Empire. The Greek Empire took over. It says that he reigned in his stead, the first over Greece. Verse two, it says, and made many wars, and and won and won many strongholds, and slew the kings of the earth. Because the Greek Empire, Alexander the Great, he conquered a lot of areas, and he won many battles. Verse three, it says. And went through the ends of the earth and took spoils of many nations in so much that the earth was quiet before him, whereupon he was exalted and his heart was lifted up. Verse 4, and he gathered a mighty strong host and ruled over countries and nations and kings who became tributaries unto him. Verse 5, and after these things he fell sick, because he did, he fell sick, and perceived that he should die. So when he died, he reigned for 12 years. But when he died, his generals winded up conquering different areas. They wanted, they wanted, after he died, they uh, split the, uh, the areas up and they all had different areas of they, them conquering. They, they shared among the share of Alexander the Great, but they wind up going up against each other when you go into the Diadochi Wars, the, the generals of Alexander the Greek. It says, verse 5, and after these things, he fell sick and perceived that he should die. Verse 6, wherefore he called his servants, such as were honorable and had been brought up with him from his youth and parted his kingdom, right? His kingdom among them, see, while he was yet alive. So Alexander, it says, it says so Alexander reigned 12 years and he died. He reigned for 12 years and he died. And his, serv and his servants bear rule everyone in his place. You see that? And after his death, they all put crowns upon themselves. So did their sons after him, after them. Many years and evils were multiplied in the earth because they all started conquering different areas and they split it among themselves after Alexander the Great passed. I'm just summing it up for those that don't understand. So now, when we go back to Daniel 7 and 6, this is talking about the Greek Empire. The rising of the Greek Empire. Daniel 7 and 6. After this, I beheld, and lo, another like a leopard, which had upon the back of it four wings of the fowl. The beast had also four heads, and dominion was given into it. So that's pretty much going to Alexander the Greek and the Greek Empire. Verse 7. After this, I saw the night visions, and behold, a fourth beast. The fourth beast is talking about the Roman Empire. That's the fourth beast, right? The fourth beast is the Roman Empire. It says dreadful and terrible and strong exceedingly. And it had great iron teeth because it had great iron, the great iron might, right? It says and devoured and break in pieces and stamped the residue with the feet of it. And it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it, right? Because they took the, they grasp of the ta the tactics of the other empires. They had the great iron, right? They had the other uh, 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 tactics that they took from the other kingdoms of the other other empires, and they became great because of the great iron, right? It mentions of the great iron. It mentions the Roman Empire when you read Daniel the second chapter. It talks about it, right? The the fourth beast, which is the Roman Empire, and stamped the residue with the feet of it and it was diverse from all the beasts that were before it and it had 10 horns you see that so this is that's going into the roman empire verse 8 and i considered the horns and behold there came up among them another little horn and that little horn is america because ancient rome fell but it was rebuilt again in this place called america because when you read Revelations, the 17th chapter, it talks about the seven heads. But America is the eighth head that came out among the seven heads. Right. It says so the, 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 that little horn is America, which came out of Great Britain. Right. And it says before whom there were three of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And what are it says? It says there were three of the of the first horns plucked up by the roots. And what is this talking about? The the roots that were plucked up, the three roots that was plucked up, that's talking about the French, the British, and the Spanish. Those are the 
three of the first horns that were plucked by the roots, the French, the British, and the Spanish. And it says, And behold, in this horn were eyes like the eyes of man, and a mouth speaking great things. And that's America. They brag about their military might. They brag about their might. Right? So, hey, Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. Pretty much summed it up. Lord willing, this lesson is edifying. And one more thing, too. Um, I want to prove, too. Let's go back to Daniel 7 and 6 real quick. This is Daniel 7 and 6. After this, I beheld and lo, another like a leopard, which is just talking about Alexander the Greek. And also talking about the, the, the Greek Empire. And it says, which had upon the back of it four wings of the fowl, and the beast had also four heads, and dominion was given into it. When you go to Daniel the eighth chapter, it also mentions the uh the Greek Empire. And I believe it's uh Yeah, it talks about that that goat right there, right? Here it is right here. And it says, And though rough goat is the king of Grecia, that's talking about the Greek Empire. And the great horn that is between his eyes is the first king, right? And that goes to that goat there. It's talking about the Greek Empire, which goes to Alexander the Greek. So I just wanted to prove that. So a Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. I want to give all honors and glories and praise to Yahweh Shema Shai by Shema Kakodash. Double honors to our elders and apostles of Great Millstone. Who will well and teach well because those are the men who I learned this truth from through the spirit and power of Yahweh Peace, blessings, salutations to the hopeful elect. And shalom to you, sincere brothers scattered abroad, pushing forth this word in truth and sincerity. I am the brother Mashiach Arazaka from the servants of Yahweh Yahweh Shai Camp, Las Vegas, Nevada branch. And Lord willing, this lesson was edifying. To the next time I say, shalom.